Alright guys, I'm going to talk about Terrain Builder, um, setting it up for uh, your project up with map frames, um, how to use them correctly to uh, get the most out of your project, <coughs> especially when working on a larger terrain. Um, uh, let's see, we'll go through and we'll talk about it. So, uh, JBEDS a lot, but this is my, this is my uh, root folder here, click on that. The only thing in there, obviously you can see, is my configs and my uh, warp. Uh, I, and then I have a folder for source and all the source data and since we're going to be setting up four map frames I made four separate folders bottom left, bottom right, top left, top right to save the output it, um, oops, save the output it, uh, layers in there uh, which we can we'll talk about later but um, so let's go to my uh, let's go to height maps we're going to copy this one in um, Hit OK. It's going to import the height map. <coughs> and the uh, <coughs> the total terrain size on this we chose um, four four zero um, ninety six by seven, which gives us a total map size of twenty eight thousand six hundred seventy two by twenty eight thousand six hundred seventy two. And you will see that. Oops right here when I click on terrain properties so now we're gonna set up a map frame and let's see so the initial map frame is gonna be a 200,000 easting zero northing now the sampler size we want it to be you know it's gonna be half of what the uh, terrain is um, or what the full size terrain is because we want to keep everything proportionate when you export the height maps so we're going to go with 2048 by 7, which gives you 14336. Three and we can just change that to match for one for one. Everything else can stay the same. Um, this you would point to your layers config uh, for when you are going to, um, this is in here when you go to export the satellite mask and stuff but uh, so now you hit rebuild terrain yes and now you see it added an initial map frame here so now we're gonna add, we gotta add three more so we're gonna click again now the next one we're gonna have to offset it so it's gonna be uh, 21,000 or 214,336 and uh, zero north because we're just going to move left or uh, sorry right um, oh also I failed to mention this the output root folder is where you want the layers to go so obviously since in this case we're doing we are going to do um, this would be the bottom right map frame we would go to the uh, we would go to your, your P drive we go to uh, J Bajalabad and then do bottom right, and then you would hit you would hit OK, and that's when you export um, when you export your uh, layers. That's where it's going to go. I'm not going to hit it because I don't want it to mess up what's already in there. But uh, so you got your you got your easting and northing. We're going to set the samplers tab up the same seven. 14336. Oops. What did I do here? There we go. You go over here. You would you know, set this to your layers config. Hit rebuild terrain. Okay. Now you have your second map frame. Now if you go up to add another map frame. <clears throat> now we're going to do the top left, so you're going to have to offset. The easting would be the same, would be or would be normal, would be 200,000, but this is going to go up now. So now you need to do 14336. You would set the samplers tab, like we said. 336. Leave all that the same. This would go to your layers. Rebuild terrain. And now you got your third one. And now, now one more. 
Now it's got to offset for the easting. So two, one, four, three, three, six. And it's also got to go north. So 14, three, three, six. Set your samplers tab up. Point that to your layers. Rebuild terrain. Bam, now you have four map frames. Now, you're going to need a fifth one because you want to export the whole map once you're done. So, let's add one more. Two, that's going to be 200,000 zero because you're going to encapsulate the whole map frame. Now, I didn't set the other ones up as I was doing the other map frames, but your output root folder, you know, obviously it goes to where you want the exported um, layers to go when you export them out. So I'm not setting it up here because it's already set up in my actual project. I'm just trying to show you. But uh, so anyway, that's what that would go. But uh, now for the samplers tab, now we're going to actually do the full terrain by 7. And now you can see it's 28,672. And then the same thing would be for um, the satin surface masks. Um, this, I believe, I have set to 28 by 28. Um, the general rule of thumb is to try to get it to 40 in Arma 2, but I don't know that it does much, that it, change, it affects it as much as it did in Arma 2, or if at all, but in my case, 28 by 28 is where it's going. Satin surface tiles, you can set um, a 512 by 512 with 16 pixel overlap. It's pretty good because uh, it, it cuts the tiles up enough where you can um, try to maximize as much surface as you can to get, you know, to squeeze out maybe a couple extra um, surface textures. You know, I would set the uh, layers config. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're good. Hit rebuild terrain. Oops. Hit yes. And uh, now you're going to have one giant map frame around the whole project. Uh, as soon as it finishes. Okay, there we go. Now we got one map frame around the whole project. And as you can see, we have our other four. And let's click on one of them. You can rename the map frames however you want. You know, if you want to do this one's the whole project, whatever. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It's just to help you better recognize them. Uh, setting it up this way is actually really good because you could let's see here. Where's the bottom left one? There it is. You could be working in the um, bottom left corner, and the teammate could be doing up here. And as he's making, you know, you're, you're both on separate computers. As he's making height map edits here, he can export just this uh, map frame and give it to you. You can then import it and put it in, you know, your, if you guys have a, a final project um, saved. So he can he can give it to you. You can put it in there, and um, same same thing with the objects, the road, um, yeah, any kind of shapes that he puts down. Um, it really just lets you section off the terrain for just easier um, workings. I think what else uh, <laughs> what else we could cover here? Um, I mean that pretty much is everything.